Hey there everyone, it's Stefan here with Performance Fuel Injection. Uh, I just wanted to make a video today comparing two different injectors. We have on the left here a set of Bosch, part number 0280158040, and on the right here, RPFI 1000cc. Both are advertised as 1000cc a minute at 43.5 psi, which is 3 bar fuel pressure. Uh, so the first test we're going to run here is just going to be a spray pattern test. You're going to see a difference in the spray pattern. The factory Bosch injector here, the 040, has a 7-hole laser cut orifice, <clears throat> whereas the PFI 1000s have a single orifice uh, as they are a modified Bosch injector. So I'll run the test so you can see. So as you can see, the 040 have a bit of a wider spray pattern, whereas the PFI 1000s have a more narrow spray pattern. Now depending on your intake runner, intake manifold design, um, the wider spray pattern can contribute to uh, intake runner wall wetting, which is a big factor in transient fueling and can make it very difficult to tune. So the narrow spray pattern of the PFI 1000s is a li little bit more universal. Um, so the next test we're going to run is going to be the static flow test, which is going to test the advertised flow rate. And then from there we're going to test the short pulse width, 3 millisecond flow, and then the 12 millisecond flow. So I'll move these down and we will test the static flow. Okay, so we've moved the injectors down to the flow tubes and we're going to test the static flow rate. And this is going to be a 5 second test at 3 bar. That's a fuel pressure gauge there on the left hand side of the screen. Move down and check the tubes. Okay, so as you can see the 040 and the PFI 1000 CC are very similar in flow. Uh, static flow rate. <clears throat> the PFI are flowing just a little bit more. So we're gonna switch it up and we'll check the three millisecond pulsed flow and see how different they are there, if any. Okay, we're all set up to do the three MS test. It's gonna be at a 5,000 RPM simulation for 30 seconds. Uh, it just takes a little longer to fill the tubes at short pulse width. And again, it's gonna be at uh, three bar fuel pressure. Okay, well, as you can see, they are quite similar at uh, 3ms pulse. Well, the PFIs flow a little bit less, which actually can help with um, conditions where you require less fueling, idle, light throttle, um, decel. Uh, so although the static flow rate is the same, these actually flow slightly less at shorter pulse width. So we'll move it up and we'll check the 12 ms flow and see if there's any difference there. Okay, we're all set up to do the 12 ms test. Uh, again, it's going to be a 5000 RPM. This test is only going to run for 10 seconds and uh, the fuel pressure is going to be at 3 bar once again. So very, very similar in flow at 12 ms. Uh, the PFI is actually flowing a little bit more this time around. So as you increase the pulse width, um, the PFIs actually flow a little bit more. As you trim the pulse width down, they flow a little bit less than the 040s. 
but all in all, very, very similar across the board. So that's interesting to see. I'm gonna do one more test and it's just gonna be a pulsed spray pattern test because before we did a static spray pattern test and I know it's gonna be a little bit different, so we'll check that out. Okay, we got them back up on the rack for the spray pattern test. This is a pulsed spray pattern test. Uh, the one we did at the beginning of the video was a static spray pattern test. So you can really see the difference now in the medium cone versus the narrower spray pattern of the PFI 1000s. Rotate them. Similar spray pattern all the way around. Okay, and that'll be it for this video. Uh, I might add some stuff in the comments, but uh, thanks for watching.